Hey everyone, thanks for joining the video. If you clicked into this, you're probably wondering how you can use Zwift Power to do a power meter analysis on your rides. In order to do a power meter analysis through Zwift Power, you're going to have to have two forms of power measurement. One is going to be your trainer that you use, whether that be a direct drive trainer or wheel-on trainer that is capable of power measurement like a kick or snap and two, an on-bike power meter, whether that be a set of power meter pedals or a crank-based power meter like what I'm using with the, uh, the Quark. In addition, you're going to have to have a head unit capable of recording power as well. So stick around with the video and we'll show you how to do it. Now's a good time to mention that if you like this video and want to see more of this content, go ahead, like the video, subscribe to the channel, it really helps out, and I can keep putting out more content for you. In order to do this analysis, you're going to have to record two separate files uh, with your power meter data on it. One is going to be your Zwift ride, which is automatically uploaded into Zwift Power, and the second is going to be that file that you're recording on your head unit with your second power meter. Now it's important that you have a heart rate strap, either um, watch based, arm based, something paired up to both. And the reason for that is because Zwift Power is going to use that heart rate data in order to align your files and give you an accurate comparison. In addition, when you have your power meter paired to your head unit, you're going to want to start and end that uh, that ride on your head unit as close as possible to the start and end on your uh, Zwift file. So before you start your Zwift ride, you're going to want to make sure that you have your head unit installed, powered on, and paired to your on-bike power meter. In my case, you'll see the icon for the cork pop up there. And although I didn't show it, you do want to make sure that you do that calibrate function to zero offset your on-bike power meter prior to starting your uh, ride. So once your head unit is on, your power meter is paired up and zero offset is done, you want to make sure that you start your head unit ride at approximately the same time that you start your Zwift ride. All right, so once your ride is saved and uploaded, you're gonna to wanna to find that, download the original file from your head unit. I like to delete it so it's not a duplication. Remember where you save that. And then you're gonna to wanna to go into your Zwift Power account to the Analysis tab and create new data set. With that, you're gonna to wanna to take your Zwift ride, which is already gonna be in there, and assign your power meter to it. And then you're going to find that file that you just saved. This is the one from your head unit. Upload that and assign power meter to it and then create data set. In the interest of time, I cut this off, but it takes a good 30 seconds for it to analyze. And then you just wait. 
and your information pops up here. Swift Power does a really good job of matching up that data set so that it's identical uh, using that heart rate data. And you can see here in my case, um, it matched up pretty well. That critical power is a good way to look at your uh, one second through 60 minute times and see exactly how much uh, your power meter discrepancy is in uh, percentages. Once your files are in there, down at the bottom, you can actually see the data to make sure that your information is correct with the two files that you want. You'll have your power data, your heart rate data, cadence data, and of course the critical power. And you can take these files and look at specific sections of it, drill into the data a little bit deeper and see how it compares. You can also time shift and crop these files. So if the uh, data is just a few seconds off either direction, you can uh, use that time shift and crop to make those files better align. But in my experience, I've never had to do that. But the, uh, the bottom here where it shows those percentages, that's really the best place I uh, look for my comparison. So if you like this video, like, uh, give it a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel. If you want to see more content like this, just let me know. Thanks for watching.